welcome back to y254 tv this is still why in the morning if you were not here when the conversation began we are talking about online sex exploration and social media influence on young people before we went on that short break she was talking to us about the effect of social media the implication of social media on the young people and i love the point she had raised where we were talking about um the influence on mental health how what, what social media does to a person's mental health so uh it has contributed to both positive and negative mm -hmm. uh if personally will not be able to maintain the status of the uh, social media influence mm -hmm. sometimes it has made people to go on drugs ah yeah and others are formed by themselves because of uh, i'm sure we have heard about cyberbullying yes that is very common in online mm -hmm. platform mm -hmm. and uh, I came to understand that one is not for the faint or ever yes <laughs> because if you don't have the emotional stability to handle what goes on there mm -hmm. it can easily drain you down because we have people that can exchange any times any any one of communication as in matusiote anything you, you mm. get it. Mm. And so if you're not sober enough, emotionally it can drain you. And the, it's, it has a negative implication because once you start to dislike and there are issues you cannot be able to deal with, you become isolated. Mm. Once you become isolated, emotionally start draining you. And when emotionally start draining you, it's linked to mental health. So... We always ask ourselves before even you step in and say, I'm a social influencer or I'm this, I'm this. Are you able to learn the lace? Are you able to keep the spin? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see even the, the socialites mm -hmm. eh, are changing once and you like, ni kama who is who? Uh -huh. you, you get it? Yeah. it no, you're like, and what's next? So, so working on social media, I'm too agile and goofy. Agile and goofy. Can I? You know, and the first question you ask yourself: Why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. Because if that I send self-affirmation and even affirmation from your family, from your parents, you know, if you believe you are good enough to do this, no amount of anything can shake you. Mm -hmm. And because when you have emotional balance, sometimes you already think we are so strong until something happens. <laughs> so ask yourself if I want to maintain this standard how far is far how far can I maintain it is it about the fashion mm -hmm. is it about the hairstyle mm -hmm. you know there's type of celebrity who does the air wiki ya kwanza wiki ya pili ya kona nyuelengene and because I keep on liking and loving and I'm like hey glesa meshu kwa boa Little do I know that Glace maybe on a pesa in your fund. You get it. Mm. There's those that wanna take a kuva kama mtu fulani. Each and every fashion in Natokelezia, I want to keep on trying. Sometimes the negative greatest impact is some of the people to najipatanga kwa madeni mo. To najipatanga kwa loans mo. Let's talk about men. There are men who love to maintain a certain class. A world, kiatu, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about men who love cars. And because they see celeb, so and so is, you know, is driving few da, I don't know, there's these Mercedes or whatever mm -hmm. types of the car that someone's love. And I had one of friend who said, Manzeta bin ni bandili shagali. Mana mabishu wangu zile gali wanaenda nazo, tukifika hapo na sikia shemda. Mm, okay. And I was wait a minute. This car, you bought it last year. It's barely two years. It's a very, it's KD something. It's the, it's the nyezlukwa zimetokeleze ya sawa. And I'm like, uh, do you have to change your car because of your friends? And he says, where? Ojui hii maneno. Ah, okay. See, this person will not show up with their car. They will go to an extra mile of taking a loan 
tukaa haya they are going to this meeting with their friends somewhere na lazima ajulikane amefika hata yeye i have a friend of mine my god rest his soul in peace because this led him to hell and you go back home he has lent a layers light lenta kuna madeni zinamfuata but akivaa suti na tai na kiatu achukue kivi kutana na AOST glace you see this is the kind of man i want if you sit down and get photos and you follow him on the social media you'll be easily influenced let's go buy in the curtains when in the last this person alikula lini kwake kwa nyumba ya mwisho the lantern is on his neck what abuse wow. behind the camera this person is taking loans east center bank baka zinampigia simu hmm? this person amenda ameuza mpaka vitu za mama yake in one day this person will tell you i have 600000 huh? yes okay. and in the next day needs to me as to be so mbili so where did 600k go to clubbing influence status to what end to what end by the time this person is getting help mm-hmm. i remember what they called me and told me i think i need help please refer me to one of the counselors i'm like finally i told you you can't maintain this standard He left to the hospital mentally broke and depressed then he lost him that was so sad that was so sad so how how do how do we take care of our well-being i only say learn your lesson hakuna mali tumepimiwa we have to reach a certain limit there's no competition be you Is this is what I can afford I be me. Personally, let me talk about my personal experience. I've worked uh, with people who is who. And in my social influence I've come to meet with who is who even in the government. And I have friends coming up in a family where my brother is called Helic. Helic is well. Let me see that, but uh, he has a state of class whereby he knows who is who. And growing up being the last born so some me in friends ilikuwa ishaanza mapema you see you're going to this hotel this weekend mkoku this weekend ukoku so i also wanted to maintain that standard and my friends my circle of friends they are driving wanaishi kileleshwa wapi runda you get it i almost fell to the trap of taking loans oh, wow In 2020 I met with one of my friend. He's gone here. And by the time I'm meeting him, do you know what he looked at me and told me? Young girl you need to learn your lesson. You're not competing with anyone. Be you. If you can afford kwenda na Kavix, tembea na Vix. If you can afford to go with a motorbike, tembea na motorbike. Take your growth in one step at a time. And God bless you so. That is when I started learning out of debt. Because east to west debt is because nani fuata hivi. I want to maintain a certain standard. I want to be who is who. I want to meet in them in those hotels and pay the bills. But some of the bills I'm helping I'm paying for you grace nimekopa. We are having all types of fun but nimekopa. Once I go back in the house I'm wondering nitalipa hii aje So that moment I realized self realization that this is me Juliet this is my limit I can grow within my limit mm. and there is no pressure self evaluation self affirmation self realization it's become so easy So that what we need I don't have to have a very big house and mansion to learn into death because i want to maintain a standard standard 
If you can do it, God bless you. If you can't, there's still a process of growth. And I'll talk to our young people because one day we want to be an intern, the next day we want to be the manager. It is a process. And we're having even a challenge because I've been in conversation where uh, managers will say, right now we would rather hire to train the light attitude more than hire with the degrees and the PhDs. Solely to say I'm a manager in one of the children home and sometimes I fire people. You find someone is looking for internship. A simple task of filing in the morning to evening is not yet done. Why? They are on social media. We have become so addicted to that extent. You get my point? Yes, I do. And I've had many companies complaining of the same. And in some organization, they keep up the Wi-Fi. Because there are people, since they get in their office, it's nothing else, it's the social media. And so someone will say, I will rather take a phone for a dropper who is having the light attitude to be trained and be ready to adapt more than someone who's really graduated and it's well and good, it's going to have papers, but you are focused. You just get in the office. Hi guys, I'm back in the office. Hi guys. You know, how far is far? Having your limits. So I always say there's time for everything. And there's always a process. Today we want to be on VIX. Tomorrow mm -hmm. we want to be on this. Tomorrow we want to be on this. Mm -hmm. It's a process of growth. Amazing. Yeah. As we wind up this conversation, what's the future like? The future is bright and we also need to grow with the technology as it's growing. But the future is always better for who knows what do I want, who I am, what am I bringing on the table. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say my disclaimer is if you cannot be able to handle the pressure on the social media, please can't handle. It's not for. <laughs> for the fake Yes. Jacket. You know, be, be you, home. be you, mm. be little as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, if you go to a restaurant and you find you cannot use those fork and whatever, be you, wash your hands, be you. <laughs> eh, it is as <laughs> little. Because yes. No. Because now we are trying to influence or we are trying to be someone that we cannot be. Yes, we can. But can we keep up? Some, some, uh, you, when you when I entered, your friend was talking about going to gym and I'm like, I, one day I just thought I need to go and do this. My friend, Grace, let me tell you a story. I did it for two days, <laughs> the third day, the fourth day. And I was like, I used to tell my friend, ah, unona imuaka, aishi kama sijaba bob top. My friend, lazima nivaya yako kakitu. You know? Uh -huh. And because when we're going hiking and everything, everyone is dressed in a way like, ah, uh, you feel they're looking young. And I used to tell them, I remember I used to tell Maggie, she's my colleague, in it was boop top, in it was crop top. You get it? Mm -hmm. And I said, he, he ni takata. He ni takata. I started going gym. I started doing exercise. It is okay. But let me tell you, the second week, si kwa namsha ni hu. I said, oh Jesus. <laughs> I love me. The influence. Yes. I, I could see her, I could have my sandwich, what? Kuna diets. Na uwe zani na makaya cabbage. Kuna diets. Kuna some fruits. Kuna what? Kuna oh my friend, mi napenda ngano wait. Napenda chapati. So, I'm like, how do I? And then she used to tell me, want, lazima uachane na ngano so that you can maintain this. Manze two weeks. The third week, nili jiambia, let me be. I look at the mirror and say, do I look beautiful? Yes. Do I look good? Yes. That was all that I did. The rest? Thank you so much, yes. Juliet. You. <laughs> Pima nguvu. Pima nguvu. Thank you. <laughs> Kama utaezana, good. Kama utaezana, hati ya tu hapo. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you for having time to talk to us. Yes. Thank you for educating and enlightening us yeah. on some of these pertinent issues affecting mm. young people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing to talk about, say, social media influence, and then it's another thing to 
please let us know where we can find you because you're a psychologist. Oh my goodness. I said yeah. I don't have Facebook page. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the whole so conversation we'll be talking about here, yeah, social media. Yeah, social now media. it's time for you to tell us <laughs> where we go happy. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I can only be found on Facebook. My Facebook is Juliet it's Favor. Well. It's, it's when someone can reach me out. Um, I do most of my focus is on teen. Uh, it's good you give, you give you a chance to mention that I work in a children's uh, home where we deal with street children mm -hmm. and orphans. Basically, I deal with youth mentorship and teens. Mm -hmm. So you can easily reach out to me with the Facebook page and you may, you know, tongue and take talk. Amazing Juliet, thank you so much. I will go home yes. and weigh myself. Yes. Because some of the social media you are seeing via Snapchat, I do not have strength to do this. <laughs> <laughs> With one million filters, I, I tell myself, if I can't take a phone, a photo, bila kweka filter, wa chai kai. Let me, let me finish by <laughs> saying this because we are going off. Go. You, you see now, like yourself, you get that time for. A friend of mine gave me a package for the makeup. Mm -hmm. And one day in the morning, I look and I say, okay, this is the process. One, two, three. The following day, I say, this is not me. Please, let me be. I think Thank one you. thing we're taking <laughs> off because we need to really go. Yes. We need to pay more for WCW. But I think one of the things I am taking seriously, carrying home from this conversation, is that run your race. Yes. There is no competition. Yes. There is no award for posting photos. There is nowhere you will be told, eh, well done, good and faithful photographer. <laughs> you know? Well done, good and faithful poster, influencer, TikToker. You know, run your race. You are not in a competition with anyone. Mm -hmm. It is your life. Pima Nguvuyako, that is the second thing I am carrying from this conversation. Measure your ability to mm -hmm. carry what you are able to carry. Don't carry everything you see on social media. Not everything you see on social media is real. Someone told me some time back that they post photos that two years ago. Sai ya kona mimba ala kavi baya but sasa your time ala post. Sai she she's posting photos of two years back. So you will think those photos niza sai ukimwana sai she's expecting. I'm like why? That is social media for you. We were on Strength of a Woman with that conversation on social media influence on the young people. We are paving way for Valentine to come oh back oh. with WCW. Don't take. We are taking a short break. Do not go anywhere.